Good morning. I'm Allison with High Speed Gear. And I'm Daniel with High Speed Gear. So today we are going live. We have a really important question to ask everybody. What is your favorite tactical belt that you wear every day or with your gear load out? We want to know what your favorite belt is out there on the market and what you use it for. So make sure you comment below, tell us what your favorite is. And while we're waiting for some people to respond, I wanted to bring Daniel here today to talk to, about, talk to you about the design process here at High Speed Gear. It's unlike anything you've ever heard about before. So Daniel, can you tell us about what you do? Sure. Um, so I'm the designer here at High Speed Gear. We create new products. Um, so that involves uh, a lot of research, a lot of talking to people who use the gear, a lot mm -hmm. of using the gear ourselves, um, feedback from our sales department, feedback from all our, um, our users in the field. So we typically try to start with some sort of problem to address. So whether it's something needs to be carried that there's not a solution for or the current gear that I'm using for, you know, something is really terrible or it's uncomfortable or it breaks, those are all examples of problems that we would kind of focus in on and make it our mission to solve. Awesome. And that's the, uh, the figuring out how to solve the problem is, is what makes it interesting. Very cool. And one thing that I notice is a lot of the products that you and your team design here at High Speed Gear, they're not products that are already on the market. You take a completely different approach you find something that is useful for people, not just jumping on the bandwagon and coming up with something that's already out. We definitely try not to try not to ever be on the bandwagon. Um, yeah. We never want to make something that's already out there or that's repeating something that's already been solved. Yeah. Um, good products are addressing a, a need with a user, so we call yeah. those we call those pain points sometimes. So it's mm -hmm. something that can be fixed or improved. Um, if a product doesn't do that, then we don't like to do it. Yeah. So, can you give us a top secret, top secret no. tip? Who do we use to test our products before they go to market? Um, Maybe not their names, but what <coughs> types of professionals do we use? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, um, with that? Probably not with this. Okay. I mean, this would be a poor choice. He can't be trusted with um, weapons. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, we use. Um, we, we have a network of what I call expert users. So they're people in military, law enforcement, um, training, basically anyone who's, who uses our gear, uses similar gear, um, and uses it hard. So okay. we, we want people who have a lot of experience uh, with tactical products um, and that are gonna put actual use on them. So we, We'll have conversations with these people to figure out what those pain points are. We'll run ideas by them. If we think we have a potential solution, we'll say, hey, does this sound cool? And they'll either say, yeah, that's cool, or no, that's a really dumb idea. And then when we have, uh, once we've made a prototype, we'll send it out to these, um, these people that help us and hopefully okay. they, can, they can try and break it. So we're talking true prof professionals in law enforcement, military, commercial mm -hmm. use, True professionals all over the globe, really, mm -hmm. not just here domestically. There's a lot of testers worldwide that are used. And um, what I think is really cool is when you look at the high speed gear design process compared to other tactical nylon equipment, everything we make here at high speed gear is overbuilt. So when it comes to belts, we have five rows of stitching as opposed to three. When it comes to the type of nylon cordura. It's a thicker, more durable fabric. So our products are built to last. There's a lifetime guarantee because we are able to offer that. So one of my favorite tactical belts is our operator belt. That is the best of both worlds. It's a full functioning battle belt, but it's nice and low profile and flexible, easy to put on, easy to take gear off and re-kit out if you're shooting different firearms that day. What's your favorite? Mm. Well, I think my favorite is the one we're going to talk about here shortly. Oh my gosh, I, you're I, I, also <laughs> use, I also use the operator belt okay. um, because it's compatible with Molly and belt mounted stuff. Um, it's low profile. It's got the bomber cobra buckle. Um, yeah, it's a good option. Yeah, agreed. No belt keepers needed. It's just, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we have some comments here. 
I'm looking. I hope I don't do this wrong. All right. I actually don't know how to look at the comments. So keep answering if, if you are. We're, we're new to this. This is our first time going live, so bear with us. I promise we'll do better next time. We're going to do this regularly so we can completely make fools of ourselves because we do a great job at that. We don't just make good tactical gear. We can make fools of ourselves. Without class comedy. Correct. <laughs> so, if you're at home, if you're driving to work, you shouldn't be watching this if you're driving, but wherever you are, at your office, let's hear a drum roll because we're going to show you something really special. Okay, here we go. All right. What? What is this? This is unlike anything High Speed Gear has ever done. This so, is... This is the Vigil EDC belt. What? Wait, where's the microphone? Drop it now. <laughs> so, this is a belt designed specifically for everyday carry. Um, we're using a low profile magnetic buckle, which is cool because it'll fit through your belt loops, which is an issue with a lot of tactical belts, uh, a lot of Cobra buckles won't fit through the belt loops and on standard pants, which is not ideal when you've paid for a really cool buckle. Um, it's double layered mil-spec mil webbing construction, so it's rigid enough to comfortably hold a holster uh, inside the waistband or outside the waistband, um, but flexible and comfortable enough to be worn all day. And it comes in a variety of colors and patterns, so you can get it to match whatever your taste is or whatever your, your outfit might be that day. So my favorite, favorite feature is the Fidlock buckle. This is super cool. It's quick. And watch this. Dink. Easy. I love it. Okay, so this is in wolf gray, but it comes in all of our standard colors, black, OD green, multicam, multicam black. Um, even woodland. Even woodland. Everybody loves woodland camo. It goes out of That's style bad. and then it comes back. So. We are ready to go with that. The Vigil Belt is for everyday carry, but you can, I've seen guys, you know, talk about using this with jeans, with a nice suit. It's rigid enough to hold on to your holsters. It's also very comfortable for smaller frames or ladies especially. Nobody wants to wear a belt that's like digging into your hip bones on the side, so it's nice and flexible. Very comfy. Number one rule. So, I'm going to give this back to you because I can't be trusted with new product. You know what I do with those. That thing will be gone. Sold. So, a couple of details that we did differently on this belt versus some of our other, say, our Riggers belts. Um, it was just designed to make it a little more, uh, a little less tactical, a little more um, everyday, a little more subtle uh, to blend in with kind of casual wear or, you know, we're not trying to look overly tactical here. Um, the adjustment tail which you would use to set your to adjust this to your particular waist size is on the inside rather than the outside so from the outside it's got a very smooth um, appearance the tail is not there to snag on anything um, and it's also the, the webbing the exterior webbing is actually wrapped in um, nylon fabric which gives it a little more refined look um, and also allows us to do all those colors and um, yeah colors and camera patterns. So, a bit of a different look than yeah. our Rivers Bells. Awesome. Yeah. So, any questions, please call our customer service team or leave us a comment here. We will reply, I promise. We're going to figure out how to do this. In check fact, out the website. Yes, check out our website. We have um, all kinds of pictures on the website so you can see this in, in different colors and also sizing. So, one thing, I want to give you a tip. This is a really important tip for all high-speed gear belts to include the new Vigil EDC belt, the operator belt, slim grip, short grip, Cobra, doesn't matter. Make sure you measure yourself out and around your waist. Never go with your pant size. A lot of guys will say, I'm, I'm a 34 in trousers. Well, you're not going to wear a battle belt on top of your skin like you wear your trousers. So you want to measure out and around your gear, whatever you're going to be wearing your belt with, and that's your measurement to pick your size for the belt. Great tip. Yeah. We have an authorized dealer network. All over the world, there are authorized dealers that sell high-speed gear. So make sure you check in your local area. On our website, there's a dealer locator. 
So you can type in your address or your zip code. You can find someone close to you. So then you can even go check them out in person, try them on, whatever you want to do. Make sure you like and subscribe this video and subscribe to our channel. See, I told you we're doing this for the first time. I'm totally winging it. So like this video, comment, tell us your favorite belt. Let us know if you pick one of these up and what you think. And su subscribe to us so that way next time we go live and, and we do something even more crazy, then you'll know. All right. Yeah. What else? Send me money on Patreon. What is that? You don't know what Patreon is? No. Oh, it's where people send you money. Oh, I want that too. Send me some too. <laughs> yes. And it's Thursday. So you know what that means. We have Taco Tuesday and Tequila Thursday. Another important tip. All right. Thanks, Daniel. You're this welcome. was fun. We'll Anytime. do. We'll do this again sometime, and we'll, we'll let you guys know. My pleasure. 